Happy March 16th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy heard the thoughts and concerns and desires of the Royal Council. We were given 20 amber. We're up to 52. Um, to prepare, they gave us that to prepare for our next quest. We are to enter the Lost Woods. Uh, a place from which no one, or I guess few, return. Um, and uh, find a venerable owl named Eldris. Uh, Eldris was present in ancient times at the planting of the Tree of Seasons. We hope Eldris will educate us on what to do with the spirit of the tree that we now carry in a magical hourglass. It hasn't been stated, but uh, since it's an hourglass, I suppose... Time is ticking. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. That's the queen again. Different, very different images, different artists. We have Ellen uh, here, and we have uh, Yi, Yi Carrillo, Carrillo. Uh, cool. Okay. The council meeting continues as the queen thanks each of the heroes in the room. Oh, boy. Uh, we got a lot of reading again. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, let's, before we do that, let's do the, uh, let's do the Sunday lottery. Today is Saturday. Um, the calendar is for both the 16th and the 17th. So on Sundays, we get to do the lottery. We roll a D6 and two. Lose one amber. This is the second time in a row, I think. <laughs> uh, we haven't done great in the lottery. So, that's not racing. 50. We're down to 51. That's still the most amber we've ever had, I think. 51. Okay. Let's see. Boom, ba boom, boom. There's my paper. The queen speaks to you. The realm extends its gratitude for your loyal service to the royal family and its subjects. Your valor and dedication have earned you a distinguished position as we prepare for the forthcoming challenges. By embarking on this noble quest, you have merited the right to make any request of your queen upon your triumphant return. Yet, until that moment, the crown and its people summon your presence once more, for your various deeds are required yet again. A request? Uh, when we finish, make any requests of your queen. That's nice. Okay, the queen addresses the other characters. Read the sections for the other heroes that you did not choose to play as in this adventure. And that's everybody. <laughs> Because we made a custom character. So, um, what can I say? Sit back, relax, and enjoy as the queen addresses each of these characters in turn. Talk Redwind, the squirrel wind chaser. Your swift arrival to warn us of the imminent insect attack proved to be an indispensable act, preserving lives within the castle and the city beyond. Without you, we would not have had the forewarning needed to mount a prompt response. Regrettably, duty calls you back to the burrow to conclude your training. Your esteemed superiors eagerly await your return, and be assured a gratifying recompense awaits you upon your return. Thatch, Spring Willow, the Raccoon Thorn Weaver. Master Laurel's discernment in choosing an apprentice could not have been more astute. We are gratified with your exemplary performance and care for the Tree of Seasons. It is beyond doubt that when the time comes, you will make an exceptional tree keeper. Until then, your presence remains indispensable within these castle walls, where your apprenticeship shall flourish, assisting Master Laurel in the continued care of the tree's remaining branches and prepping for its restoration. Quill Mudsong, the Porcupine Spellkeeper. Your visit has bestowed a welcomed radiance upon the city, 
Time has distanced us since our youth, but I have been blessed by your presence. Regrettably, I understand the weight of responsibilities that tether you to the entirety of Renwood, leaving you with no choice but to depart. Please do grace us with your presence again, and as you journey forth, may care guide your path, my dear, dear friend. Cora Wildclaw, the Mouse Blade Dancer. My cherished daughter, though your defiance has at times vexed me, I am impressed with your conduct amidst recent endeavors. Your exemplary behavior, uh, bravery and swordmanship reminiscent of my own youth. While the throne may not be your aspiration, Renwood would undoubtedly prosper under your benevolent rule. You must remain here to pursue knowledge and hone your skills. This crisis shall unveil the profound essence of guiding and leading the critters of this forest. Merrick Lightfoot, the Weasel Shadow Weaver. <clears throat> I'm sure you never imagined getting yourself entangled in the events of these past days. I understand that your intentions were never to harm the Tree of Seasons. As promised, we forgive you for your transgressions. You are henceforth exonerated and free to leave. However, permit me to earnestly implore you to ponder the trajectory of your life's course. Sil Blackbolt, the Skunk Lightseeker, <clears throat> we are profoundly impressed at the execution of your station. Your leadership and combat prowess have left an indelible mark. It is conceivable that you shall one day ascend to the prestigious post of Captain of the Royal Guard. Alas, your presence is currently required to resume your duties. Captain Clawthorne awaits your prompt return, for there is a multitude of tasks demanding your capable hand within these castle walls. And that, my friends, is March 16th and 17th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.